Hi guys, Rian here with another Yanfei video. So today I'm going to do a DPS showcase with my build. My build is using the Lost Prayer of Sacred Winds and also Wanderer's Troop set. The reason why I'm not using Crimson Witch is because my Wanderer's Troop has much better substats. I have crit rate, crit damage and attack percent on every artifact, which makes it very well balanced. So I'm at Constellation 0 and Talents at level 6. My crit rate is 76%, crit damage 164 and Elemental Mastery 122. So for the first showcase, I'm just going to do Yanfei as a solo DPS, meaning no Burnett, no Ganyu for Melt, no Xingqiu for Vaporize. Just Yanfei alone. And you can see Yanfei can solo Cryo Hypostasis very easily, because she basically melts on every hit. You can expect your damage to be even higher in the coming weeks. Currently, my talent is only at level 6. Because there's a new boss, you have to farm the materials from Asdaha. But once you have leveled up her talents, you can expect your damage to skyrocket even higher. On average, without any elemental reaction, my charge attacks is around 17k. And with Vaporize, with Sing Chiu, I'm hitting around 30k. And with Melt, I'm hitting around 40k. With this build, uh, because I'm using Wanderer's Troop set. Another reason why I'm focusing on my charge attacks and not my skill is because I don't have constellations. So I, if you have constellations, your elemental skill and burst might deal more damage. But for now, most of my damage is coming from my charge attacks. Not my skill. For the next showcase, I'm going to show you a melt team with Ganyu. So I'll use Ganyu as a support to apply cryo status and Yanfei will be doing the melts. 32k, 37k melt, 34k melt. Not bad, not bad. For the next showcase, I'm using a vaporized team with Sing Chiu. For this team, you need to be very careful with your hydro application. So I usually start with Sing Chiu's burst, and then Yan Fei vaporize, and I use my normal attack. I'll use a normal attack and then charge attack. Normal attack, charge attack. You see? So after you use Yan Fei's burst, you do not need to use your charge attack quickly. You, it's better for you to wait for your brilliance to give you the extra seals and also trigger Vaporize with Sing Chiu before using your charge attacks. So you see I'm using normal attack, charge attack, normal attack, charge attack. And my charge attack is around 40k. Yeah, so you just have to keep normal attack, charge attack. And it works out very well. I actually prefer this over the melt team. Because for the melt team, you have no control over your reactions. But for the vaporized team, I can actually control the vaporized hits quite often. And there it is. I'm 
For the last team, I'm just going to mix in Vaporize and Melt with Sing Chiu and Ganyu on the same team. So I took out Zhongli. Because there are three different waves. So for the first wave, I decided to use Sing Chiu for Vaporize. Second wave, I'll use Ganyu for Melt. And then the last wave, I'll be using Sing Chiu again. The Asdaha boss fight also has three waves. So I'll be doing the same, same technique against Ask the later. For the Asdaha boss fight, I'm still learning the best pattern. But I think he changes elements, so it, it's quite random. But for the first fight, I'll be using Sing Chiu for Vaporize. And you cannot one-shot him. Even if he's taking damage, the his HP wouldn't go down until he finished changing his different mode. Yeah, you see, once he, he becomes this mode, he doesn't take any damage, so I think it's better to just stay away and wait for him to transform. So he's going into Hydro mode. So I'll be using Ganyu on the second phase. Okay, he's going into third phase, Electro. I'm not sure what's the best way to kill him the fastest, but I'm just going to stay stay away until he does his thing. For the Electro one, he's going to hide underground, but you can still attack his tail. Or you can attack the tree. His tail is actually the tree. Yep, he goes underground. And you have to dodge the electro stuff. Yep. Hey, where did he go? Oh, I thought I killed him. There it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more Genshin content.